of Warasotes down there to Lechamera, Nacht Fura Kram Mera, of Lechamera to Than Forde, of Than Forde on Mille Burne, Ewelmen, of Than Ewelmen on Padakenstan, of Than Stone on Ruche Berwe. Eddington in Wiltshire, and that might be a name that's familiar to, to you. Uh, Aethan Dun. Uh, there's a great battle fought here, but this video, this channel, has got nothing to do with battles. It's about the landscape and the people that lived in it, not hordes of people rampaging through the countryside. Here one minute, gone the next. The English obviously didn't win uh, for the simple reason that uh, England was divided in two for a couple of centuries. And secondly, quite a few words that we use today are Norse words that have gone into, into English. This, this shows there was settlement and cross fertilization of, of languages and culture. So the, the point of this channel isn't necessarily to preserve something that is Anglo-Saxon, simply to point out the source of um, many of our place names and um, some of our culture, but also to recognise that England changed, um, not just with the, the, day, the invasion of the Danes, but also uh, the Norman invasion the Reformation and so on, um, culture changed. Uh, and I'm not here to sort of preserve, to preserve some sort of purity of the, the English language. I thoroughly enjoy speaking English, English the way it is. This is Luckham, and in 1283 it was known as Lova Cumba. Its name probably means uh, the coom of the Anglo-Saxon uh, Leova, but we don't know whether or not that's true or not. That's hypothetical. But it is today called Luckham, and that is uh, there are stree there are springs at the bottom there in that copse. And those stream, those springs are the uh, Awelme of um, of the charter that I talked about earlier on, that uh, become the River Milburn, or the the Brook Milburn. And that survives today in the name Milburn Melbourne House. And it did in fact have mills on there up until recently. Um, woolen mills and, and so on. Um, it looks on the map as a, just a tiny streamlet, but it seems to be important enough to have several mills on, strong enough to have several mills on. I've stopped here because it's a uh, slight sh uh, shade from the wind. It's hard to, it's ruining all my footage. I would, um, I've been looking for an Anglo-Saxon stone. Uh, the previous shot was where it should have been. And uh, this is an Anglo-Saxon charter of Eddington. It has uh, thrown me off a little bit because um, Grundy said he was pretty sure it was there. 
Um, but you see, when you've got a tractor with a with a bucket on the front, it's so easy to take something away that's getting in your way. But um, oh, it's also marked uh, BS on the OS map, which means boundary stone. So it, again, it should should be here, but it's not. Which is really a real shame. We can't actually precisely identify that it is at certain points, but it's a turning point in the current parish boundary. And you do need something to mark a turning point with a with a boundary charter. Uh, so anyway, I'm going to go. I'm having a nice walk. It is a really nice. I belong on the downs. It doesn't matter which down it is, as long as it's chalk, I belong there. And. Uh, I'm going to walk up to Bratton Camp, which is an Irish fort, and let's see, uh, let's see if there's anything worth having a look up there. Uh, a wild onion. You can eat this. Mm -hmm. 